protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. Around 50% of the motorhomes sold in the UK are based on Fiat Ducatos, and obviously they have Fiat engines. If you've ever wondered what the engine under your bonnet of your motorhome looks like, it looks like this. Look at that. This is a 3 litre Euro 5 180 horsepower engine. It's got a variable geometry turbocharger, which makes it go really fast. You'll know if you've got one of these engines in your motorhome because on the front, on the radiator grille, it has this neat little badge. Power! That kind of says it all, doesn't it? But look at it, this is really great. Wouldn't you like to have one of these in your sitting room? I could sit and look at that all day, but I'm not going to because there's an awful lot more to see and do. If you like your caravan and have a bit of history behind it, you're going to love the new Zone. They're made in a place called Sherburn in Elmut. I think I've got that right. You won't have heard of it. It's near Leeds and it's a fantastically historic place. Apparently, it used to be a kingdom, all of its own. Well known for making caravans. These caravans are actually made in the same place where the fairy swordfish aeroplanes were made. You know, the plane that sank the Bismarck. It's just reeks of history. But coming right up to date, look at this. We've got a full kitchen, a little fridge there, sink, everything you want. And then if we move around here, it's the accommodation. Plenty of room for two people to sleep quite comfortably. It's compact, it's got a television, it's got everything. Well, almost everything you need. And if you like history, I don't see how you can beat the zone. There are loads of people here selling roof boxes and frankly, well, they're a bit boring, aren't they? But not this one. Look, for a start, it's got a wheel on it. What's that about? And for a second, it's kind of boat shaped. And that's really not surprising because actually, the top of the box is a boat, just like this. How fantastic. If you buy it at the show, you get this outboard motor thrown in. It's an electric outboard. You just need a 110 amp hour battery, shove it under the seat there. And you've got a range of four or five miles at a whacking speed of, whoa, two knots. Whoa, yes. This is good. Trailers are really great things to have. You can put big things in them and carry them behind your car or your motorhome. Even if you've only got a small car trailer, enables you to carry big things. The problem with trailers is they take up so much space, you've got to have somewhere to put them. But what if I told you that you could have a trailer that fitted into a space just like this? Well, you can, and here's the proof. This is a complete trailer. Look, wheels, lights, tow hook, everything you need. And even more proof is this, the finished thing. Isn't this great? This is a complete trailer. I don't know what the weight limits are, but you could put a lot of stuff in there and tow it behind your car or your motorhome. That is another really good idea. It's the first time I've seen one at the show. You know, there's more to life than motorhoming and caravanning, like archery, for example. How's that? So, even if you don't like motorhomes and you hate caravans, this is a show that's still worth coming to. What a fantastic shot! I can't believe that! <laughs> <laughs>